Three, two, one, fish. Three, two, one, fish. Should be deep enough. Oh man, so much to get caught on here. Bit far over for those fish there, but should be fish there too, eh? Come on now. Right in there, eh? Turns out I can't catch fish in North Island anymore. <laughs> Maybe I need some split shot. Come on now. Get on down there. That's the one. Bumping on the bottom. Three, two, one. Fish. All about that weight. Yeah. How you doing? Welcome back to another video. Look who it is. Look who it is. <laughs> it's Dustin. I haven't fished with Dustin for way too long. So here's the plan for today. The plan was basically to come up here with the double-handed rods. Dustin's got a new three-weight trout spay. Is that what it is? Three-weight trout spay? Yep. Yeah. yeah. He wants to try that. I've got my four-weight and I haven't done any double-handed stuff for like a year. So that's the plan. We'll come up here, swing, catch some fish. But um, ironically, I just caught that on a nymph. So... We kind of bought that just in case, just as well. Anyway, so we're going to probably just fish this pool a bit more because there was a ton of good fish like that in there. And then we'll go back to swinging and we'll just swing our way back downstream. Uh, good stuff, good times. Let's go. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, 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 that's a fish. Bang, bang, bang. That was a fish. Oh. Yeah. 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 Where are you? That's what we were after, man. Ooh, yeah, boy. Nice work. Yeah. That was super cool. Yeah, I can see. Right about there, eh? Oh. 
That was one of them. What was that? Yeah, such good fish, dude. That's outstanding. Look at that. All good? Beauty. See you, lady. Wow, so good. Ooh. Whiskey! Whiskey! <laughs> One of the things I love about winter fishing is whiskey. Yeah. It's about probably the best thing. I mean, the fishing's okay, but whiskey's awesome. Yeah, we'll fish through there, eh? I like the one. So, we were, we were just saying, it's really just not turning into a, a very swingy kind of day. The river's kind of low, it's really clear, the sun's out, and it's just, you know, we're, we're fishing to fish and they just they just don't want it. So we're kind of conceding a little bit and we're just nymphing, we're gonna start nymphing to a few of these fish just so we can drink some whiskey, really. <laughs> um, and, uh, and get a few fish on the board. But again, not a big fish, but just condition is unreal. And um, I took that, that stonefly, which is from NZ Fishing Flies. I'm not quite sure what it's called, but uh, it's caught me a lot of fish now. See if we can hang on to this one. Got him. See ya, buddy. Uh, yeah, so Dustin's going to swing down through there just because, well, we did come out here with the intentions of catching fish on the swing. Uh, so we'll keep trying. But yeah, there just seems to be, there's a little pocket of fish over the back. There. Quite a big pocket of fish, actually. And then you go back to normal nymphing, stonefly, glow bug. The right amount of weight and a right amount of depth and a good drift. And they're there. It's winter fishing again. And uh, boy, it can be good. When it's on, it's on. It's a good time. Every single fish is just brilliant. Just beautiful condition, fat, solid, strong, very, very cool. It's going to be a good winter, I think. A real good winter. 
Okay, so I thought just real quickly I would talk you through what I'm using today as far as the swing goes. I've got the Orvis Clearwater 11 foot switch rod here. It's a four weight, it's 11 foot four. It's the Clearwater, this jobby right here. I don't know what I'm doing and I can, I can kind of cast this, so it's got to be fairly okay. On here I've got the Mirage LT size three reel. Heap of backing on that and then I've got a Scientific Angler integrated Skagit line intermediate sink. Uh, 270 grain goes really well with this four weight. On that I've got a 10 foot sink tip, a sonar sink tip, six inch per second sink which was mostly okay today. I could have maybe done a little bit less in some of the shallower stuff but it was pretty good. About four feet of 2x absolute supreme tippet down to one of Dustin's little tube flies. That's just stunning. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start off with this one, see what that does. Yeah, Very that small. looks wicked. Nice and wispy, eh? Wispy. Wispy. Uh, the, the stuff we were nymphing with was Popeye, which is my Helios 3 6-way F, Mirage LT size 2 reel, as usual, um, and then, of course, the usual scientific anglers, amplitude infinity smooth, floating fly line, straight through about 12-foot leader to a stone fly from ends of fishing flies, and then a dirty glow bug off the back of that. But it is that time of year, so... What you gonna do? No way, just as I was lifting up. I thought I was caught on a bottom. I was about to start swearing and saying, oh God, I'm on the bottom again. <laughs> no, we just swam in it. <laughs> yeah! Nice, brother. Wicked. Cool fish. That is cool. Nice. Alright, buddy. And under you go.
Okay team, we're back at the truck, we're done, we're having a delicious beer before we get out of here and watching some hilarious YouTube, which... No, I can't go into that. No. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> anyway, great day, good to catch up with the bro. We caught a couple on the swing, a few on the nymph, a couple on the dirty egg. What <sighs> you gonna do? But it was a tough day swing-wise because it was kind of low and clear, eh? Yeah. And a bit of sun and didn't sun. help. Didn't help. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. Great to see Dustin again. Give me a thumbs up. Drop me a comment in the comment section below and all that good stuff. So see you later to the bro. See ya. Have a great week, everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Peace.